this is the way it starts. A very good paper, and I stretch it just to keep it tight, and then when it's wet, it still stays tight. Now, like when I do these, these skies here, they're wet. If it wasn't taped down, it would wrinkle. This is what it looks like. It's, uh, you see how much drawing. These, these are all lines that are scratched. And where I draw it, that takes away the black. You see the copper. That's where it's etched. So it goes in acid, and that etches these lines. And uh, it's kind of a mystery how it's going to come out, of course. But, uh, and this was the result. And then it was hand colored, watercolor. I'm telling you all my secrets here. <laughs> I've finished teaching. Yeah, you're not going to get me back doing teaching, I'll tell you that. If I had a neon sign here, I'd have Art Hansen flashing on and off. <laughs> Class of 47. We just missed the war. <laughs> just a good school. And uh, I learned a lot there. And I traveled a lot uh, to Europe. And all these subjects I saw, all these wonderful, I love them. What this area has, even Vashon has it, this kind of wildness. There's not a place in Europe that looks like this. You know, living on Vashon Island, that's a, you know, Art Hansen's world. And so uh, the painting that we have of the man in the forest, it's uh, beautiful. It's, we're very, very lucky we got that in the collection. He's predominantly known as a printmaker and an etcher. But what we have is a painting that looks like a print. That is to say, the strong black and white contrasts are like an engraving or an etching. It has a resonance that uh, uh, I think the students enjoy. It's one of the quieter pieces in the collection. Well, I know of one because I, I gave one, and that was a watercolor. It was a flower and a sunset. That's quite typical of what I, I like to do. I like to do flowers, and then often I like to put a landscape in with it. So I've done a lot of paintings like that, and I wanted them to have that particular thing. I had 20 years that it was very difficult. It wasn't the gallery life there is now. And um, it was very hard. The printmaking is what saved my life because I could send those all over. I didn't have to depend on paintings. And uh, once that happened, I had a little income coming in. And then by 1980, I started getting more money. Then my life changed. You know, it's not. There's nothing wonderful about being poor for your soul or anything. It just makes you small. You want approval, definitely. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, it, it's much better to have money. Much better. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope they look at it a little bit. You know, that's the thing. You know, to get them to just stop for a minute. Yeah, they may just walk right past it most of the time. But if they do see something that interests them, hey, that'll be good. Stop them there. Yeah. <laughs>